There is still no response from the Myanmar side on the return of the bodies of two youths killed at Tamu in neighboring country. Family members and locals are getting restless as they await the handing over of the bodies. As per latest inputs, the local SP along with DIG Range 2 Manipur have called on the family members of the two victims to discuss the situation. Two local Tamil youths, P. Mohan and M. Ayanar, were shot dead in Tamu on Monday when they had apparently gone to attend a birthday party in the area. And since then, protests have broken out in Moray, demanding the immediate handing over of the bodies. It's a big story at this point in time. Viewers, there is no, still no response from the Myanmar side on the return of the bodies of two youths killed at Tamu in neighbouring country. Family members and locals are getting restless as they await the handing over of the bodies. And as per latest inputs, the local SP along with DIG Range 2, Manipur, have called on the family members of the two victims to discuss the situation. Two local Tamil youths, P. Mohan and M. Ayanar, were shot dead in Tamu on Monday when they had apparently gone to attend a birthday party in the area. And since then, protests have broken out in Moray, demanding the immediate handing over of the bodies. All right, our Chief of Bureau, Arindam Das, joins us over the phone line to give us the details on this big development. Well, Arindam, bodies yet to be handed over. Uncertainty looms large. So what are the latest updates that you have? Yes, Kunda, it has been day five since two Tamil youths from border town Mole went missing in Tamu in Myanmar. Apparently, they have been shot dead by a militia group led by Myanmar army junta. And ever since uh, Monday, this week, uh, to Tamu in Myanmar, mm -hmm. the bodies of these uh, youths are yet to be returned to the Indian authorities. In fact, an army calm prevailed in the entire Mole town. We have seen protests in the last couple of days. And that's why the DIG of that range is camping himself in that area to monitor the situation. In fact, the DC and FC of Technopol district are also camping in that area. And today, the DIG of Range 2 of Manipur, along with the DC and FC of Technopol district, went to meet the family members of these two Tamil youths who were really shot in Tamu in Myanmar. But so far, they haven't got any confirmation or any communication from the Myanmar authorities. Efforts are on physical diplomatic channels to establish contacts with the Myanmar authorities and to get back the bodies to India. But so far, the response from the Myanmar authorities has not been positive. And that's why an army come to the entire Moray town in Manipur. And we can only say that the family members are right now turning restless. And in fact, the entire Moray town uh, right now wants to know as to what is the fate of the bodies of these two youths who have gone to Tamu last Monday and it returned and apparently they were shot dead in Tamu in Myanmar. So right now uh, the situation is tense in Moray and that's why the DRG, the SP and the DC are camping in that area and right now making the family members to discuss the entire scenario. Right, Arindam, uh, though the family members and locals were uh, visited, as per the latest input, the local SP along with the DIG range to Manipur visited the family members of the two youths and uh, given them the information and discussed the entire situation. But exactly, the family members and locals are getting restless as they await the handing over of the bodies at this point in time. You see, it has been a big suspense now as to what is the state of the bodies of these two youths who are apparently shot dead by militia group led by Myanmar Army Junta. So uh, they want to know about the fate of these bodies because there are certain speculations in the rounds, there are certain reports which are coming that bodies probably have been uh, burned down, but there is no official confirmation on it. So based on these speculations, based on these reports, there are Older town Moray, uh, along with the family members, uh, are getting restless uh, to know the fate of the bodies. But as I had mentioned earlier, that uh, so far the response of the Myanmar authorities has been negative, and they are not getting uh, the Indian authorities are not getting any positive response uh, from the Myanmar authorities. So efforts are right now underway with diplomatic channels to bring the bodies. Yeah. 
And Arindam, after so much of efforts by the local authorities, uh, what do you think, uh, what could be the reason that the Myanmar side is uh, tight-lipped? Well, as I had mentioned, there are certain speculations. There are certain reports in the rounds that uh, these kids, the bodies of these kids have been burned down by the Myanmar side. But if there is no official confirmation on it. But there is definitely something which has been hidden about this entire episode. All right. Thank you, Arindam, for giving us those details at this point in time.